more than welcome back and welcome to this Affinity iPad tutorial. A few of you have seen my um, how to enhance eyes tutorial on Affinity Photo um, and asked if I can do the same on Affinity Photo for iPad. So, um, so yeah, here it is, same image. Let's get on and do it. A tutorial on all of the tools in the iPad Affinity Photo app. It's just a tutorial on how to enhance the eyes and you'll pick up some more things as we go along. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to go over and um, to our adjustments. So you can see on the right hand side, the adjustment tab is, um, is highlighted. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna scroll through and find curves, select curves. So now in my layers, a curves layer, I'm gonna want to invert this layer after I've um, adjusted it. My adjustments are always on the bottom of the iPad. So I'm gonna to go to my curve here and I'm gonna increase the brightness like so. So it makes it much whiter than it was before or much brighter than it was before. Now I'm gonna to want to invert that. The way we invert things or way we invert an adjustment on the, um, on the iPad is we go up. So as you make sure that you've got the layer selected and then go to the adjustment on the right hand side and here you find the adjustment that you've just um, made. In this case, it's the layer curves adjustment. I press the little three dots there and then go to invert. So this will immediately invert that layer adjustment for me. So now what I need to do is paint back in the white of the eyes. So I'm using an Apple pencil to do this. You can use your trusted finger if you want to as well. So I'm gonna go and select a paintbrush and again, like with the adjustment layer, the tools become active at the bottom of the screen. So here I'm gonna to want to turn the flow down. So all I do is select and move to the left. You can do it up and down as well, like so. But I'm just gonna um, move to the left and turn the flow down to about, um, like I said before on the Affinity Photo, it was between 15 and 30%. And then the hardness, I wanna turn that down um, to about 10%. The width of the brush depends on how zoomed in you are, I suppose. So if I pinch and squeeze like so, the width of the brush becomes much larger. So I'm gonna just decrease that size of the brush. And then all I'm going to do is make sure that in my paint brushes on the right hand side, I've got black and white selected, white to paint back in. So to, to bring that back in, I'm just gonna paint on white, just reduce the size of the brush, just to go around here like so. I'm not really, fussed about going over the lines because I'll just grab a black brush and paint out the areas that I don't want. I'm not being overly careful here because I've got my flow and my hardness ramped right down. I, yeah, you get quite a bit of forgiveness around the edges. So now I'm just gonna use my black um, brush, just increase the hardness up to about 50% and just paint back in the areas that I think I've gone over the lines. Likewise on this side, let's go back to my layers, select the layer, double click the layer and it will um, it will become active, the tool set for that layer at the bottom and then just turn down the opacity of that layer just to reduce the overall effect of that. Awesome, happy with that. Now what I'm going to do, I'm gonna create another curves adjustment, so I'll go back to my curves here. But this time, where it says master, I'm gonna change this, just keep pressing until it changes to blue. And go to my curve, and again, remember, I'm gonna change the overall feel, or the overall color of the image, and this is the way I want that. Go back to my, back to my layers, make sure I've got that layer selected. Select my three dots, curves adjustment layer again, invert. So it will take that, um, so it will take that effect away. Now I'm gonna go back to my brush. So we're doing exactly the same thing, but this time with blue. So now I'm gonna pinch in, zoom in again, and reduce the size of my brush, and hardness and flow I'm happy with. Opacity needs to be 100%. And then I'm just gonna paint in blue on the eye. The reason I'm, I'm missing a little bit here is you see this blue sort of circle every time I press because I've got press assist or press selected from my settings. So that just shows you where you're pressing on the screen. 
it's good for tutorials not great for um for doing work like this cool so that's my eyes done um now what i want to do go back to my go back to my layers just to make the eyes pop a little bit more i'm going to turn down the vibrance of the rest of the image and paint the vibrance around the eyes back in so let me show you how to do this um again we go to our adjustments scroll all the way to the bottom and um, select the vibrance go back to our adjustments drag the vibrance to the top layer and reduce the saturation so right down like so so happy with that go over to my brushes select a black brush and i'm going to zoom in a little bit and um, i'm just going to paint the color of the eye back in and again i'm not being here particularly careful being quite blase a bit actually and just painting over the eye area and what i could even do is go to my layers go to my curves adjustment on the color and um bring the opacity up a little bit just a little bit more so now on both eyes they're a bit more vibrant and then go to my white layer drag the opacity up on that a little bit as well so they're even more so yeah that's that done it's a great way to um enhance the eyes on the um ipad version of affinity photo i'll i'll do more ipad stuff as well so um, thanks a lot for your time have a great day catch you all soon bye